Okay, nobody's gonna eat it. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube. So today for Vlogmas, I wanted to go ahead and make my favorite thing in the world, which is a donut, but turn it into something Christmas themed. I'm going to be making a salt dough ornament, and it consists of all-purpose flour, regular salt, and water. We're going to be putting glitter on them. It's going to be fun. And I'm doing this by myself because Josh doesn't want to participate because these cookies are not edible. This is a bad idea. Babe! <laughs> That's gross. Okay, hey, nobody's gonna eat it. <laughs> I can dip my fingers in it. I can cough on this. It doesn't matter, no one's eating it. Alright, you're gonna knead the dough until it's nice and soft. Uh, you're gonna have to probably add a lot more flour than the recipe says to. Just kind of eat into it. You want to take a bite? You want to taste it? Just taste a little bit. I'm not even done. You taste it first. It's done. Look, it's dough. Taste the dough. Ugh, it's all salt. <laughs> You're going to roll the dough out. Put a little bit of flour on your rolling pin and roll it out. And you want the dough to be about a quarter inch thick. You don't want it to be too thin because that will make the ornaments very fragile. If you want to make a donut, you can find a cup laying around or a protein shaker top because it's going to be a little bit wider. So I have four donut ornaments ready now. I just ended up using the top of a protein shaker to cut out the uh, larger part and then the middle part. I didn't even need a cookie cutter. <laughs> so whatever you have at home, whatever kind of shape, just use that. Or you can go to Ross, uh, Marshalls, Michaels, anywhere and get a couple cookie cutters. Look how beautiful it is. So I got four donuts here and then I made three little snowflakes. So these are gonna go in the oven for two to three hours and then we're gonna decorate them. All right, so the ornaments are done in the oven. They took about two hours in my oven. They look great though. So what I'm gonna do is make some donut ornaments for my tree because donuts are my favorite cheat meal. What I'm gonna do is paint these ornaments. Uh, what I have is white acrylic paint and red acrylic paint to make pink. Or you can just pick out a pink acrylic paint. I also have some modeling paste. What this is gonna do, it actually helps texturize the donuts. You don't have to use it, it just makes it look like real frosting versus just the acrylic paint on the ornament. So I started by mixing the red and white paint onto the plate and then I have some of the modeling paste that I'm gonna put right over here. I'm going to take my donut ornament, I'm going to paint it all pink. Next, I'm going to dip my brush into the texturizer and mix it in with the paint. So you see how that really gives it a frosting look. All right, and the last step is to pick your sprinkles. So I have all these different ones. I don't know why, where I'm healthy and fitness. You can use food sprinkles, you can use glitter. All right, now you're gonna let this dry and then once it's completely dry, we're gonna put a ribbon through the hole that we marked there and hang it up on the Christmas tree. <laughs> Are you doing? <laughs> I see you eating my sugar sprinkles. I gotta make sure they're edible. <laughs> They're for the ornaments. The ornaments are all done. Once they were finished drying, I used a little bit of multi-purpose spray adhesive glue on top. Just sprayed it real quick on top. Um, 
And then I added some ribbon and here they are. They're so pretty. This is actually my favorite one. These two are Chris's favorite because they have the real sprinkles on them. And I'm gonna add them to the tree. My name's Heidi Summers. My name's Heidi.